Welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. I'm here outside the Great Smiles in Tugboro, here to find out about this book of festival law. So let's go inside and try to find something out here. Let's go to this not haunted library. Let's see if we can find a book here. All right, there's this bookshelf. Okay, so I found the book of festival law. And let me go back and take it to the mayor. I am so glad that I can use this mount very early on in my game here. I'm sure it makes the videos a lot more entertaining to watch. That way it doesn't take me three years to run across the map. I can just quickly ride over there. Let's see what this says. I'll, I guess I'll read this while I'm running over there. Section 4, subsection 113B. Many of the large Shire holidays, fairs, and communal festivities are coordinated by an appointed farthing planner in accordance with the Shire Book of Festival Law. Some fests and banquets, however, are organized by the township and not by the farthing planners. Yule is such a feast intended to bring together the community. Alright, so looks like we found a clause that will prevent Lobelia from taking over all of the planning for the party I guess look at that we are lawyers not only are we saviors of Middle Earth but we're also a lawyer Let's see what the mayor has to say about all this You found the Book of Festival Law. Let me take a look. Hello there. Ah, here it is. The Book of Festival Law clearly states that the festival planner can be charged with a petition signed by no fewer than 10 persons who reside in the town that the feast is of the feast in question. Here, take this official petition. If you can find 10 residents of Hobbiton to sign it, then the post of Hobbiton Yule Planner can be changed. Alright. So let me go do just that. And that is Bingo Boffin over there. Again, I will work on his quest line in a separate video just for continuity's sake. I know he has a ton of quests out and they keep coming out on a regular basis. It's a system implemented of episodic quests, which I think is a really good idea for an MMO. Oh, it looks like we have some quests here that we can do. Let me take a look at these. Might I have a word with you? Hello there. I've gotten myself into a heap of trouble. Do you think you can help me? I snuck in and took a basket of eggs when my dad wasn't looking. He is very particular about his prized hens and doesn't let me tend to them. I just wanted a snack by the river with my friends is all. Well, after I snuck out the eggs, I realized that they had chicks in them. Dad has been trying to get his prized hens to lay eggs for longer than I can remember. It must be the new rooster he got from Budgeford. I can't go back and return the eggs, but maybe you can. Dad hurt his leg and so many, and has so many travelers running about fetching eggs, you would be able to sneak in and replace the ones I took. I got so flustered trying to get away with the eggs that I forgot which hen I took them from. I put the eggs in the basket in order I took them, so all you have to do is figure out what order the hens laid them in. I was able to sneak out a page from my dad's journal. He can write you knowing taught me all my letters though I can't make out from from up from down from his notes maybe you will have more luck be careful replacing the eggs back in the nest those hens know what eggs are theirs and they will not roll out any of theirs and you'll have to start over did a terrible job reading that oh my god so I guess let me start doing this let me read the notes here Pimpella lays eggs before Cineraria. Moonlight lays eggs last. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So... So it looks like Pimpinella is going to be the first one. So let me just place that there. Okay. 
Cineraria. So Bellflower. So Bellflower is going to be next. So then we have Cineraria after Bellflower. So where is she? And then we have Tell Time. And then Moonlight. Then Moonlight should be the last one. Just have not seen that chicken. Probably this one right here. There we go. Perfect. So let me talk to this little dude. Is there something I can do for you? You got all the eggs matched up with their hens? I can't thank you enough, Kippen. Might I have a word with you? Do you see that chicken over there? The big one? She's the queen of the hen house, and dad's favorite, Belina. Belina used to be the best egg layer in the whole of the West Farthing, but the other day she just up and stopped laying eggs altogether. Dad says if she doesn't start laying eggs soon, she's going to end up as supper. I know she can still lay eggs, and I would hate for her to be on my dinner plate. No matter how fat she is, you were so helpful with returning those eggs. I'm sure you will be able to figure out what is wrong with Belina, Kippen. Alright, so let's go take a look at this chicken. So, this is going to be session play. So, throughout the game, you can do these different quests which put you in the role of a different character in Middle Earth. And in this case, we might be a chicken, so let's take a look. I will warn you that sometimes coming in and out of session plays like this, it'll crash my game. And if that happens, I'll just edit that out. So I need to collect earthworms for Belina and hopefully not get eaten by any of these pigs. That one had nothing in it. That one had nothing in it either. I don't want to get too close to that boar. Hope it doesn't make me dig too much. Just want to get these worms and get all my life. Really? Am I doing something wrong? Scratch the ground and reveal earthworms. Yeah, I don't know. I guess just some of them don't have them. Let me come over here to this other patch. There we go, finally. I'm not going over there because that wolf was headed that way. Just want to keep looking around, make sure I don't get eaten. All right. Need two more. Hopefully these two will have them. Alright, one more please. So what are the skills I can use? Plus 50% run speed. And... Oh, look at this. 
I am stupid, so I could have used that skill and it would have told me like which mounds have the worms and which ones don't. So this one does, I'm just kind of worried about this wolf. If he twitches, I am out of here. So I was stupid. I could have used the skill and would have been digging around like an idiot. So now I just have to talk to Belina. I'm going to use my run speed get there quickly. Alright. Who might you be? I do not believe I have seen you in the hen house before. Well, no matter. Are those earthworms you have for me? I simply will not eat anything but earthworms these days. I have not taken well to the new feed in the yard. Alright, so we're done with this session. And hopefully my game doesn't crash as it switches me back to my actual character. All right, we're good. We'll decline this. What do you need? So Belina was just hungry for some earthworms. Well, I'm glad that you figured out what was wrong with her. Now she'll be safe from dad's cooking pot. That chicken is an odd one. If she takes to you, she will show you exactly what is bothering her. Why, I'd wager she would talk if she knew how. Please stay a moment. So this next quest chain is actually a long chain of session plays for all the chickens. Um, I'm going to do that in a separate video. It has you running around all over the world. So I'll do that later on in this playthrough. Way down the line, I think. But for now, I'm going to skip those quests. I hope it's not a bother, but may I speak with you? Good day to you, young fellow. Seems I'm a bit in, in a bit of trouble, and I wonder if you could help me. You see, I've got a couple of cooks who are waiting on eggs for my chickens. But the problem is, I've gone and hurt my leg. It's nothing serious, but I can't get out there and gather the eggs them cooks need. Now, I don't want to disappoint them, so I was wondering if you could make the rounds and check the nests for eggs. Nests are just in the yard. Four or so eggs should be enough. A bit of warning though, don't let the rooster see you gathering eggs. If he does, he'll let out a call that'll get all the hens upset and worse. You're sure to be surprised and you'll drop the eggs you've collected. Alright, so let me grab some eggs. And you can see the eyeball over here. That's the rooster. So as long as he's not too close to me, should be able to collect these eggs. So let me just check some of these nests. Oh, and here's the rooster coming right my way. Let me go around the back here. I need to keep a closer eye on my mini-map. Okay. Just need two more. One more. Perfect. Let's take these eggs back. I'm already level 11. This is going quick, man. It's terrible. Just terrible. Good, you found the eggs. Now, if you're still able to help, I've got more work for you. With my leg ailing me, I couldn't possibly deliver them. Might I trouble you for some help? My thanks again for gathering the eggs, but I need to ask another favor if you can spare me the time. One of the cooks waiting for the eggs is Holly Hornblower. And I'd hate to disappoint her. She makes the most wonderful pies. I put some of the eggs in a basket next to me. So if you could take the basket up to Holly, I'd appreciate it. Holly lives up the road to the east of Hobbiton behind the ivy bush. Please be quick about delivering them, if you would. And again, be careful that the rooster don't see you with them. He'll let out a call that'll upset the whole flock if he catches sight of you. Alright. So let me grab Mr. Egg Basket over here. And let's make our way over to Holly. Let me see, she's all the way over in Hobbiton. And I have to go to Hobbiton anyways to talk to all the inhabitants about the Yule Festival. 
So that kind of works out. It's 500 meters that way though, and I can't use my horse, which kind of sucks. Uh, I wonder, like, at what level I have all my gambits unlocked, because I wish I could unlock all of them. That way I can start practicing my endgame combinations, or the ones that I'm going to be using for a majority of the game. It kind of sucks practicing all these earlier skill rotations and then just having to replace them every few levels as new gambits become available. Okay, how far are we? 200 meters. Now, there is a lot of running around in this game, and what I recommend you guys do, and this is for any game in general, every time I watch gameplay videos on YouTube, I always watch it in two times speed. It may feel weird at first, but once you get used to it, it's a blessing because you can watch double the video in half the time, and it's really not that bad to watch stuff in two times speed. In fact, I find it a lot better because it just makes the video a little bit more fast paced. And that's what I recommend you guys do. Watch this series in two times speed. You'll thank me later. And here is Holly. Perfect. So now let me talk to some of the inhabitants here. Hello. What's that now? Why, of course I'll sign your petition. She just has the pies here. Again, I'll do the pie quests later. Good day. I'll sign the petition, you can be sure. Let me get on my horse. Daddy Two Foot? This dude's name is Daddy Two Foot. Damn. Let's see if I can turn in some more tasks while I'm here. No, I don't have ten of anything. A petition for Neil Yule Planner? Of course I'll sign it. A lovely day. What's that now? Why, of course I'll sign. A, a petition? Day, I'll sign it. How do you, do? you were able to find a way to get Lobelia out of her post? Give me that paper. Alright, so I need to get some more inhabitants over here. Should be, or I guess that's Holly right there. I'll talk to the postmaster. Is there something I can do for you? Okay, and I think there should be a few more up here. I think this is the guy that likes Lobelia, so I don't know if he's gonna sign it. Well, the gall of Why would I sign such a silly thing? Yeah, he did not want to sign it. That's okay though. I'm sure there are plenty of other hobbits who will. This guy gardening out here. Gaffer Gamgee. So I guess he is Sam Gamgee's dad. What do you need? A petition for the Neil Yule Planner? Of course I'll sign it. That Lobili has been nothing but trouble since she moved in to Bag End. What I wouldn't give for young Mr. Photo to return. And he also has another quest for me. I've no chuck with strangers. You're new, aren't you? There's work that needs to be doing, but I can't do it myself. I should be gardening over at Bag End, but Mr. Lotho now, he says he and his ma don't need my services no more. Me has worked the me has worked the land for Mr. Bilbo and Mr. Frodo. The apples in that their orchard are going to rot there on the ground unless someone gathers them. Why don't you head over there and see if they are still any good? Those Sackville Bagginses might want common folk like me on their land. But there's not they can do, eh? That orchard is just up the hill to the northwest. Okay. Let's talk to some more hobbits here. Good day. Might I have okay, so this is the Inn League. Again, I'll leave this for another video for continuity's sake. It's a quest chain that's available whenever there's a festival active. Could I take a moment of your time? Again, these are all festival quests. Hello there. 
Might I speak with you a but moment? I am trying to see hey, have some tea. if any of these guys will sign the petition. I'll sign your petition. So, I am right here, ready to serve the petition to Lobelia. So let's go ahead and do that. Or, let me grab some apples along the way. Okay, I need six of these. And one more. Perfect. Let me serve the petition up here, and then I'll go back down to Gamgee and give him the apples. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy preparing for this year's Yule Fest? This is an outrage! How dare you threaten me with a petition? Preposterous! But look here, it only has 9 signatures. Hobbiton law requires at least 10 signatures on an official petition. Well, it looks like the Yule Festival will continue as planned. Excuse me, Miss Lobelia, my gaffer told me there was someone up here looking for me. What? Oh, this is the petition he said I should sign? No. Now that I've signed it, I can go back to playing? That's funny. She must be so pissed right now. Fiddlesticks. Hi there. Give me a moment. Well, it seems your little plan worked. Fiddlesticks. Another party ruin. No thanks to you. Why don't you go tell your good friend Hamfast what you've done here? No doubt he put you up... No doubt he's the one that put you up to all of this. With this... Precious Marigold being sent up here to embarrass me so. Alright, so that is that. I am making all the little hobbits here happy. And making a very bitter Lobelia even more bitter. So let me talk to the gaffer. Give him some apples. Just a moment. That Lotha won't be won't be the, the ruin of Bag End so long as I have something to do about it. Thank you for your kind help, Kippen. So I get a couple of these. Is there something I can do for you? So that Lobelia was planning on keeping all the best food for herself and her own. I'm glad that you were able to set things right. And so are the rest of the folk here in Hobbiton. We only thought it proper that you get something. Lobelia was right, in a way. We don't have much in the way to spare proffer, but we share what we can, especially for those who have been giving us as much as you. We would like to we would like you to have this, a Yule tree. It's a transplant. My nephew Halfast brought it down from the North Farthing. We were going to plant it in the yard, but seeing how you helped us so, well, Marigold thought it would be best if you took it for your house. So there is player housing in this game, and I'll show off those aspects. At some point in the series. I don't know when. So let me go talk to Farmer Sanson. Since I delivered his eggs. Let's see if he has any other quests for me. As always, if you press number lock, your character will automatically run. That way you don't have to press any keys or hold down your bounce button or anything. So I got some new mail. Epic battles. Letter of commendation. Horse needs assistance. Let me read this letter of commendation. Because I'm not sure what that is. Or I did not mean to do that. 
Greetings, I have written a letter on your behalf. Others at Archet collected what they could to give you and made a nice present of it. Make certain that you get this letter and read it, and then take it to Constable Thistlewood at Archet or Postman New Book in Little Delving. You remain in our hearts. Respectfully, John Brackenbook. Alright, sweet. So I guess I should have done that right as I got out of that beginner area. Please leave me to my sorrow. Ah, good. I'm glad old Holly got her eggs. Now she can start making those pies everybody loves. You have my thanks, Kippen, but I wonder if you'd be up for one last delivery. I hope it's not a bother, but may I speak with you? My thanks again for taking the last batch of eggs to Holly and Hobbiton, but I've got another cook waiting on some eggs. If you've got the time to deliver them. Gamera Tunley in Tugborough is a fine lady. Misses her grandson terribly, though. If you could deliver the basket of eggs right there to her, I'd really appreciate it. Remember, don't let the rooster see you. I can't have the hens all upset by him and not laying. Alright, so we can do that, but let me open this present. And... Just got some morale potions. These are like level 5. I don't know if I even want to keep them. I guess I'll put them here for now. Then I got more junk. It's just a tarnished whistle. So it gives me a steed. I don't need that because I already have a steed. Then I got even more junk. Outfitting yourself and others. Alright, so there's like a bunch of stuff here. I'll leave this for next episode. I kind of want to read up on all this and... Just do some inventory management off screen as to not waste your time. I think before I deliver these eggs, we're going to call this an episode. I've been recording for a while now. So as always, be sure to leave a like on this video for me and join the Renaissance Gaming family by hitting the subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys next time.